Lil People Big World star Matt Roloff reveals what really happened between him and sons Zach and Jeremy regarding sale of Roloff Farm. Hello dear lovely viewers, welcome to Blast Gossip with Jesse. I hope your day is so well. Matt Roloff's non-disclosure agreement has expired, and the Little People Big World is using the opportunity to set the record straight on a variety of topics. In a recent Facebook post, Matt discussed the future of his long-running TLC reality show, but he also opened up about what really happened back 2021 and 2022 between him and his twin sons Zach and Jeremy in regard to the sale of a portion of Roloff Farm. As stands of the TLC show know, the tension between Matt and Zach went public in 2022 when Matt announced on social media that he was selling a portion of the family's farm, despite claiming that he wanted the farm to stay in the family. Many fans as well as Zach felt Matt was throwing shade at his twin sons for not buying the property, prompting Zach to speak up in the post's comment section and call his dad out. Zach blasted Matt for manipulating the narrative of the situation to the show's fans. Neither son ended up purchasing the farm from Matt, but both sons became somewhat estranged from their dad after the purchase plans blew up. During a recent episode, Zach, who ended up buying a home in Washington afterward, revealed that he is still estranged from Matt and doesn't have much interest in repairing their relationship. In his recent Facebook post, Matt told his version of events, stating that he was faced with a big problem when both Zach and Jeremy told him they were interested in buying the Roloff home and farm from him in the fall of 2021. As twins they have always been super competitive, but this was one situation that I couldn't let one win over the other," Matt wrote. As a father it was extraordinarily complex and I can't say I handled it without some mistakes and missteps. For the first time, Matt explained why he couldn't just split the property between his kids, as many LPPW fans have suggested in the past. The state of Oregon has incredibly strict rules about dividing land up and splitting the baby in half property based on zoning laws, Matt wrote. There is only one house on a single tax lot. There were two interested parties and one one. House that think about that yes money, retirement concerns, loan terms and maintenance responsibility all played a role, Matt said but fairness to all four, four of my kids and all grandkids played and weighted the heaviest. In addition to Zach and Jeremy, Matt and his ex-wife Amy also shared daughter Molly and son Jacob, both of whom left LPBW years ago. Matt explained that he shrunk the size of the North Farm by selling slash renting out the big house, but grew the amount of land that is currently in a trust account. Matt admitted that he would change some of the things he did during the battle over the farm with his sons. He also discussed how hard it was to go through the situation with his family on camera. It hasn't been easy, especially all while being filmed, and sometimes even very painful, he wrote. But in the end it's all been productive and although in hindsight I would change several of my processes, I believe the results are better and I love watching AL the kids find their independence and passions on their own terms. Like Zach and Molly, Jeremy and his wife Audrey went on to purchase property away from Roloff Farm. I feel so blessed, proud and love each and every one of my children and grandchildren, Jur and Zach each figured out, in their own timing, that the idea of breaking away from me and the farm, as you all know it over past many years, and individually established their own homesteads, build their own dreams, bridges, barns, shops and projects, my heart is full to see that process in progress," he wrote. Matt explained that his youngest child, Jacob, who left the show early on, is now back on Roloff Farm with his own family. Our youngest who broke away from the crazy train early to go see the world now, in a poetic turn of events, has returned with his family to an open canvas of opportunity," Matt wrote. He's taking great advantage of many possibilities. The 90-plus acre farm, he is living and working full-time with his wife and son Matteo, named in my honor, on the farm. I understand if you've been watching El Pipigov since the beginning. You are not as connected to the stories and lives of our three average high children, but please know they exist and matter as all four of our kids do in the grand scheme of the farm. Matt went on to admit that Zach, his wife Tori, and their three kids don't come to the farm very often now. I don't get to see Zach and his adorable kids nearly as often as any of us would like, Matt wrote. We are always welcome to go see them in Battleground, Washington, but we don't see them around the farm very often. I'm very proud of them and the way they raise their family and Zach battling through illness and building out his own farm is what makes a father so proud to see. 
Zach discussed this topic in a recent LPP Yoga episode, explaining that his kids don't feel a connection to their grandpa's property. The farm was part of my life, but it's not going to be part of our kids' lives the same way it was mine, Zach said during an on-camera confessional. No one's holding grudges, no one's intentionally not going to the farm. There's just no interest. The kids don't ask Matt stated that he sees Jacob and Jeremy and their kids frequently due to them all living near or at the farm. He also gave an update on his daughter Molly, who left LPBLU after season 16 and moved to Washington with her husband Joel Silvius. Molly loves her private life up in Spokane, but we still see her often, Matt wrote. Sometimes Karen Chandler and I fly up to Northern LA for a weekend visit and often her and Joel come stay either at the big house or at my new house. Molly and Joel me new house. Molly and Joel were just here in AZ staying with us for days enjoying the sunshine and taking in the local wildlife zoo. Always wonderful to visit with the amazing Molly Joe and hubby Jolas, the Ashley previously reported. The final episode of Little People Big World season 25 aired last week, and Matt stated that the episode may have been the series final as LPBW's Matt Roloff and Karen Chandler reunite with Zach Roloff, Tori Roloff and their kids amid estrangement on speaking terms. Little People Big World stars Matt Roloff and Karen Chandler reunited with Zach Roloff, his wife, Tori Roloff, and their three kids amid their estrangement. On Sunday, November 6, Audrey Roloff took to her Instagram stories to share several photos and videos from a family gathering that honored Matt's late father, Ronald Roloff. He died at the age of 84 in Julie Wilde Tori, 31, and Zach. 32 didn't directly appear in any of the posts, their two eldest kids, Jackson, 5, and Layla, 2, were captured coloring with their cousins Amber, 5, and Bode, 2. In addition to Jackson and Layla, they also share six-month-old son Joja. In another slide, Matt, 61, was C spending quality time with Bode. These two were having quite the time together. Audrey, 31, wrote about the sweet moment. The family reunited as fans are currently watching Tori, Zach, Matt, and Carrot's feud play out on season 24 of the TLC show during the premiere on November 1. Tori and Zach revealed that they had a strained relationship with Matt and Karen, 55, after the father of four put a portion of Roloff Farms on the market. They said the family farm had a hostile environment, that it is no longer a place of joy, adding that they had no plans to introduce Joja to Karen. Karen later revealed she and her longtime boyfriend were estranged from Zach, Tori, and their kids. I'm hoping that it'll just. One day we'll start to talk again, something will come up, she said in a confessional. I know Matt's working on his relationship with them, and as that foundation gets rebuilt, I think it'll be easier for us. This whole thing has been very painful. So painful. I miss the kids every day. I just. I don't have the tools to fix it, the reality star added. After both Zach and his twin brother, Jeremy Roloff, expressed interest in buying the farm, Matt caused a major rift in the family when he decided to put a portion of the farm on the market in May. When their deal fell through, Zach and Tori moved further away from his family in Oregon to battleground. Matt eventually had a change of heart and decided to take the property of the market in October. He then announced his plan to convert the family's longtime house on Roloff Farms into a rental property. In addition to Zach and Jeremy, Matt raised his other children, Molly Roloff and Jacob Roloff, in the home with his ex-wife, Amy Roloff, actor Bernard Hill, known for his roles in Titanic and Lord of the Rings, died early Sunday. Family members confirmed. Hill was 79. He was with his fiancé and his son when he died, his agent Lou Coulson said. The actor's career began in 1974, with roles in several TV shows. One of Hill's most well-known roles was as Captain Smith in James Cameron's 1997 epic, Titanic. His character, which was based on Captain Edward Smith, the commander of the real-life Titanic, went down with the ship in the film. Hill also played Théoden, King of Rohan, in both The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers and The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. The actor was meant to be at Comic-Con Liverpool this weekend, but had to cancel, organizers said on social media. We're heartbroken to hear the news of Bernard Hill's passing, Comic-Con Liverpool wrote. A great loss. Thinking of his family at this very sad time and wishing them a lot of strength. Actor Sean Astin, who played Samwise Gamby in the Lord of the Rings series, remembered the actor at the event, video shared online shows. He was intrepid. He was funny. He was gruff, Astin said. 
Hill's passing was mourned by the British Academy Film Awards, more commonly known as the BFTS. Hill was nominated for two BFTAs for A Very Social Secretary and his breakout performance in Boys from the Black Stuff, which won the drama series BFTA in 1983. Hill's other roles included fellows in 2002's The Scorpion King. Most recently, he appeared in the BBC drama The Responder, which was scheduled for return on Sunday. The news of the Bravo star's relationship with Lacey comes after he shared a photo on Instagram on April 28 which featured the pair posing together on the red carpet at Sparkle's Drag Spectacular, a charity event benefiting the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. The post sparked questions about Lally's mystery date. Subscribe! Blast Gossip YouTube channel for more videos. Don't miss any update. Thanks for watching.